Hi guys, I'm Dean. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to show you, how to write good chords, without the knowledge of music theory. Before we begin, drop a big thumbs up, and click that subscribe button to see more content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, the first method I'm going to show you, is the best way. First open up your piano roll. Now I'm going to create a major chord progression on the root note of C. First place your root note. Then, to create the next note, all you need to do is place a note, four semi notes above the root note. Then, the next note should be placed, three semi notes above your second note. This is how you create a major chord. If you want to get creative with it, place some other notes, using the same method I told you. Also, move your notes an octave up, or an octave down to make your sound interesting. This is known as chord inversion. Now I'm going to show you guys, how to make a minor chord. As we did before, place a root note. Then, instead of placing a note, four semi notes above, place it three semi notes above. Then place your third note, four semi notes above your second note. And that is a minor chord. Also, Add more notes, and use chord inversions to make your sound better. So guys, the second method I'm going to show you is using ghost notes to identify your scale. First of all, open up a sampler. Then open the piano roll. Let's think that I need to make a C major chord. All I need to do is click this arrow, go to stamp, and select major in the scales section. Then click on the key that you want. Here, I'm using C. Now, it highlights all the notes that I can use in the C major scale. Copy it and paste it on couple of octaves. Now, when you go to your instrument, you can see the ghost notes. If your ghost notes are turned off, click this arrow, go to helpers, and enable ghost notes. Now when you play any notes in your scale, it should sound good. If you guys are using Ableton, you can't use ghost notes. But, I will show you a trick for it. Before that, I like to tell you guys that I have this MIDI scales reference pack. This consists of every one of the scales. I will leave a free download link for this pack in the description. Ok guys, let me show you the trick to do this on Ableton. First, create a MIDI clip and add an instrument to it. Now, open up my MIDI scales reference pack and pick your scale. Then drag and drop it on your MIDI clip. Now you have the scale placed inside of your piano roll. Now place it before the starting point of your MIDI clip, and you're good.
So guys, that's it for today's video. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm posting every Tuesday and Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.